We are going up the mountain today. I want to explore Yihosha. Currently leaving Kigobe and crossing into Gihosha through Ventui Novamb Highway. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. So welcome back guys. This is not so burned in here. Coming back to you again today with yet another video. February is almost done. The month ends on the 28th. How I wish it ended on the 31st. Because that would give me more time to be able to reach the $100 threshold on uh, YouTube. But who knows, I don't know, I might actually reach it sooner than I think. But anyway. So we are exploring Cartier Gehosha today. Um, the sun has not been consistent since yesterday. As you can tell, it's a little dark but it's pre-afternoon right now it's uh it's around 11 11 40 almost noon and the sun is nowhere to be seen there is the uh saint esprit compound So I've been getting positive feedback as far as uh, my latest video is concerned. Seemed like uh, you guys like it when I name the roads that I am uh, passing through. So as a result, I'm going to keep that trend up. Mm. A lot of these guys have X's on the walls. <laughs> so I finally figured out how I want to be exploring different neighborhoods, especially when it comes to neighborhoods that are on hilly areas. Like today, we're now going to explore the entire Gihosha. I'm going to leave that for the next video. What I'm going to do today is explore the outskirts of the neighborhood. So, I'm mainly going to travel on the main road. It'll be the main road looking in. And next time we're going to go inside, exploring the inside. And even then still, I will not be able to cover all of Yosha because the rest of it is up there on the mountains. Now, the mountains are something else. Eh, no way we're just going to explore this part here around this area i can manage this area the level of uh elevation gain is something i can handle it's not too much let me not forget to turn left and right so you guys can check out the houses 
a couple of X's here and there on the walls. I guess that means they're going to have to take down the walls for some reason. That sucks. But a couple of new house constructions. Let's peek into different areas. We will explore the paved bits of Yosha uh, in the next video. But today, I just want to do a quick short video that covers the outskirts. Basically, what most people not living in the neighborhood would see if they were to travel through. If you go in there, is the entrance to Center Street Church. Up there, Yehoshua still. Let's continue on. This is another quiet neighborhood, if I may say so, but the compounds are not as big. They're small. And a lot of the houses here are old, really old. But they will be revamped soon. Because uh, a lot of the kids that study here, that live here rather, most of them are a part of the of the diaspora now. So they're working, getting their money right, and once that's cleared up, they'll be back to revamp what the parents originally built. I really hope I don't get the camera angle right, wrong. I'd hate for that to happen. So now it would mean that I, the only way for me to know that the camera angle is wrong is if I get back home, delete the footage. <laughs> I mean, I get back home, check out the footage and then delete it. Then plan to record another day because without horizon leveling, you can only get it right once. All of that up there, if I was to continue in there, is all Gihosha. But I'm gonna take a right turn and cycle through this path. It used to be tarmac but some bits of it are worn out. Let's look for a way to jump back on tarmac again, right here. So as you guys can see the mountains over there, I'm not sure how much of those hills is Gihosha, but you see what I'm saying? I cannot be riding up there. It will be torture. And a bike can only do so much in very limited time. I've got plans of getting a bike pretty soon though. Then I will really be able to explore Gihosha in its entirety. Right now, I would say I'm about 50% done, 40%. Uh, I know quite a, I know quite a few people living in this area, 
Got a few friends here. Just remember to take a peek. Hmm. It's about time they repaired this road. And I'm sorry that I sound a little dull today. I'm a Kryptonian, man. I'm only active when the sun is out. As in my spirits are lifted when the sun is the brightest. Not necessarily the brightest, but just when it's out there. Let's take another peek. One look into the right side. One look into the left side and keep it moving this is going to be a short video just uh, an introduction into Gihosha there goes those buildings again that are probably designed by Inspire the company called it Inspire I hope to collaborate with them soon so I may produce certain kind of content. I'll let you guys know when we premiere. This is a valley. One more ascend and the introduction to Gihosha is complete. All of that, all those are parts that need to be explored. But up there, no, 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 no. Tanganyika over, beyond. really hope the camera angle isn't messed up. Let's take another peek. Ah, the last bit of torture that I get to sit through for you guys. <laughs> Take a peek in here. So by the way guys, if you are new to the channel, if you just came across this channel right now, I welcome you to the family. This is basically what I do. And this is what all my videos are like. I see a bunch of university students coming out of class. Everybody you see with a backpack or a booklet in hand is a student. But it's not fair that I finish up the video without giving you guys a taste of So this road separates Gihosha from Mutanga. In front of us over there is Mutanga. So let me go all the way to the uh, church's entrance, then make a U-turn, and then call it a day for the video. The church is in Mutanga again, I think. I haven't been
been here in forever. Let's take a U-turn though and head on back home. That is old Gihosha right there. And whew, let's begin to descend. It's mighty hard to speak when you're, when you're out of breath, but I'm trying though. If I'm not mistaken, and I hope I'm not, to the left side is Mutanga, to the right side is Gihosha. Separated by this road, whose uh, name I'm going to post on the screen in post-production. I'm going to name all the streets. Well, at least those that are available on Google Maps. If a street name is not available on Google Maps, then there's really nothing I can do. So that's Kihosha for you guys. And up ahead, beyond over there. Is Bujumbura coming to view? Uh, let's take a peek. Um, nothing much to see there because the road curves in, curves inwards. It's not straight. Oh. My speed is fixed. My speed is peaking, uh, picking up quite a bit. <laughs> I need to hold the brakes here. Oh yeah! Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also, hit the notification bell button so that you may be notified every time I upload a video. couple of apartments here, but really old ones. They need to be revamped. Another bit of the neighborhood to take a peek into. I'm not I'm not turning to the uh, left side much because that's uh, Mutanga. I want to save that up for the next video. Right now, we're only concerned with everything to the right side of this road. And we are reaching the end. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, some of you do ask me why I do not complete the neighborhoods. And well, my only response to that is one, my I can only record for a limited amount of time, that's one. And my energy is not infinite. My energy is finite. It runs out at a, at a, at a certain point. <laughs> so obviously I can't possibly cover anything without cutting out some bits of the video. There goes a hotel. I don't know what it's called. La Tulip. Continue on up ahead, take a left, call it quits for the video. I'm currently back on uh, Ventuino Vam. Ah, you've already seen all of that. So that's it for the video guys, that's it for the introduction of uh, Gihosha. In the next video, I will be touring the insides. Everything you saw me turn to take a peek into, I will explore in my next video.
So until then, see you around. This is not so burned in here. I'm signing out. Let me make a U-turn and head on back home. All right, see you guys.